Yeah. That one's pretty good. How's it going? Uh, hit up my first uh, state sale of the year today. Uh, but first, I'll show the little footage. I went to a thrift store and uh, ended up picking up this uh, Western uh, boot knife, Main USA W77. I always look for uh, pocket knives and uh, knives like this. Uh, they can uh, bring uh, pretty good money. So, again, I paid $4 for this and. Uh, <clears throat> Looks like these sell for around $100 on eBay. So it does have a sheath with it. So that's a nice uh, little thrift store find. Uh, so I went to my first estate sale of the year. And being the first estate sale in a cold weather climate, there was uh, way more people there than I expected. Generally, I get there about uh, half an hour early. And getting there about half an hour early, I'm generally towards the front. Uh, but today I was uh, in the middle or towards the back. So uh, uh, went inside the house and uh, the jewelry section was completely overrun. There was a lot of people in front there going through the jewelry, so I didn't get a, a chance to go through the jewelry first. I did kind of look over people's shoulders and there was not a lot of jewelry there. So I walked around the house and... Uh, really didn't find anything went back to the jewelry section about 20 minutes later and it didn't look like anything was bought uh, it kind of looked still f the same amount of items was there when I first looked so I don't think uh, a lot of stuff was bought uh, but I told you guys in the past I uh, I always go through these uh, jewelry bags even if they're uh, a privately run estate sale like this one was so it doesn't matter if it's a garage sale, a privately run estate sale, or a family run estate sale. I always go through the jewelry bags because more times than not, stuff gets missed. So uh, again, I paid $10 for the bag, and I've already separated the stuff. Uh, this stuff is not marked. I still will probably still test it just to make sure there's uh, no sterling or gold mixed in, but I don't really don't think there is any. This stuff up here is marked uh, 925, so a, little, a couple pieces of sterling up here. Just have a, a gold filled piece here, looks like an earring back or something. And then these are actually uh, gold. Uh, I've been doing this a while, so I'm, by no means am I an expert, uh, but generally I can tell the difference between like a gold plate and a, uh, a 10 carat or uh, a carotid type gold piece. So my camera's probably not going to pick this up, but uh, these bows are really shiny. So I had a suspicion these were probably just uh, like a gold filled or a uh, like a plate or just a color gold. And these are actually marked uh, <clears throat> one twentieth uh, gold filled. But I saw the pendant here, and just based on the color. I had a uh, strong suspicion it might be uh, a carotid gold or a solid gold type piece. And sure enough, I flipped it over. And my camera is probably not going to show it. It's not a very good uh, camera phone. But it's marked. Yeah, it's not going to show up. It's marked uh, 375 right up there which uh, 375 is a 9 carat. So I weighed it, it weighs about a gram. So uh, just the melt value on that is around $20. So a uh, nice piece of uh, 9 carat gold there. And I think it's worth probably double that as a piece of jewelry. So $40 right there. And then uh, this one Again, by looking at this, I thought it might be just sterling. Looks like it has some uh, aquamarine 
stones. But I thought it was sterling, but I'm glad I ch checked because it's actually 14 karat gold. So I did weigh this. This weighs about 2 grams. And I think the stones probably weigh a gram, maybe. So uh, another gram, probably, of uh, 14 karat gold. The scrap melt value on that is... Uh, around $30, uh, but as a piece of jewelry, I think it's probably worth at least double that, if not triple. So, um, so really a couple nice pieces of gold here, uh, just in the scrap uh, jewelry bag. So guys, remember to be on the lookout uh, when you go to these sales uh, for stuff like this, because uh, you never know what you'll find. Again, uh, thank you guys for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Take care.